how's the flying pizza coming along? Ugh, you really want to know? Lenny, my job as Planet Pizza publicity promoter depends on it. I mean, it can't be that hard to make a pizza fly. Well, Joe, I'm afraid the ratio of centrifugal force to forward velocity is causing a tangential arcing of non-cohesive mass. Ah. Come again? Uh, just go over there and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, catch! Bits of anchovy and olive are flying everywhere. Oh, you should see what happens to the super duper double special. Oh, look, Lenny, I know you can do it. My trial period ends tomorrow. I'm desperate. Well, Joe, I don't know. You must have come up with at least one good publicity stunt. Well, yeah, well, there is today's stunt. I changed all those boring old pizza flavors to exciting new space age toppings. <laughs> this sounds like a winner. <laughs> well, if it isn't God's gift to marketing. Mm -hmm. In the flash. <coughs> Here, you can take them back. Ah, can I have one of those? Sure. How about the Martian pizza topped with marshmallows? You're kidding. Or the moon pizza <coughs> made entirely out of green cheese. <laughs> or Joe's masterpiece, the Beetlejuice pizza using real Beatles. Oh, no way. You didn't. Hey, well, no one else has got flavors like that. Take them away. Exactly what the mm. customers said. Here, Joe, you invented them. You eat them. Mm. Bon appetit. This time it's really going to work. Now, have you got something to bring all the junk back in? Yep, my bottom was basket. <laughs> Kieran should have no trouble on the moon. He's been off this planet for years. And have you been to the toilet? There aren't any trees on the moon. Yeah. That was real generous of you to let me go in your place, Redis. <sighs> Just call it a lucky break, Desa. Oh. Oh. I've got enough breaks to last me a lifetime. Oh. Same bet? Nah, it'll fly all right. Ten. What do you want to bet on this time? Six, four, four. You're on. Let's go. Blast off! Yeah! He's under the moon! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you know, Radis, seeing you like this somehow makes this whole pointless exercise worthwhile. Oh, yeah, Cat Guts, just you wait. Uh, ah. Says you're wrong. Huh? Yeah, you've done your day. Well, you don't have to be so smug about it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, quick, hide! Oh, yeah. Is this the moon? Uh, do you mind if I hide out, hang out here for a while? Uh, sure. L listen, those those sirens wouldn't have anything to do with you, would they? Me? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. I had hardly anything to do with that fire. Uh, hardly anything? Lenny, uh... Hypothetically speaking, would you say that uh, simulating a small nuclear explosion in the car park of a pizza restaurant would be an imaginative publicity stunt? Imaginative, yes. A wise, no. I think I probably agree with you. Hello? Is this the moon? Is anybody there? Oh. Hello. Are you the man in the moon? Yes. Greetings, Earthling. Uh, greetings, Moon Thing. I come in peace. Huh? And judging by your goggles, you come in pieces. <laughs> My name is Darren. Oh, oh me arm! Oops. Me arm! You ripped off me arm! Sorry, it was an accident. Oh, to touch blissful king of the moon creatures is an act of treason. To rip his arm off is an act of war. Uh -oh. I will uh -oh. leave an attack on your puny planet immediately. Can this sticky tape? Two fellow earthlings to prepare for their complete oh, I didn't mean to. I am exactly one hour. Is that moon time or earth time? Be gone!
Stop sniffing, Mixie. Jerry's been gone a long time, Radis. Oh, I bet that miserable mud has bungled again. <laughs> Gee, Radis, what could possibly have gone wrong? You only sent a brain dead dog to the moon in a garbage can! <laughs> Run for your lives! We're being invaded by aliens! Oh, Darren! It's true! I met the king of the moon. He's going to invade her. Where's my moon buggy? I'm telling you, it was a horrible, frightening monster with tentacles. I pulled one off. Yeah, and I suppose you brought it back as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you believe me? They'll be here any minute. I'm too beautiful to die. <laughs> and I'm too smart. Wait, wait. Let's approach this calmly, <laughs> logically, <laughs> and take proper effective action. <laughs> uh, we could, uh... Well, maybe, uh... And again, we could, uh... <laughs> The aliens are coming. Uh, oh, they're not here. Oh, they're not here. <gasps> the aliens have got them too. Oh, no. to a perfect day. Oh, great, Lenny, just great. It flew, didn't it? Yes, ran into me at full speed. Thank you very much. Well, you shouldn't have tried to catch it then. Oh, your flying pizza was my last hope. I'm only on trial until tonight. On trial? You should be in jail. You should be at the pizza place. Why? No one else is. They wouldn't wear these stupid suits. All I want is just one decent publicity stunt. Face it, Joe, your publicity career is stunted. Uh, what happened to you? The ferals mugged me. What? They thought I was an alien, thanks to boy genius here. Uh, 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 yeah, we saw them running around outside screaming that aliens are coming, aliens are coming. Uh, uh, uh. Lighten up, guys. This isn't funny, Joe. You say that again. Lighten up, guys. Look, you don't understand UFO hysteria. I mean, the panic could spread and the whole town could go crazy. The whole town, the whole country even. Look, mass hysteria, I mean, it's very catching, especially if it gets in the newspapers. Newspapers? And TV crews, they'll be everywhere looking for aliens. TV crews? I mean, people will be glued to their radios, listening for landings. The whole city will be caught up in UFO madness. UFO madness? Wow! <laughs> uh, gee, th that sounds horrible, Lenny. Look, uh, you stay here. I'll handle the ferals. <laughs> 